For step-by-step -step instructions and pictures, visit RAV4Gen5.com. This is the 2020 Toyota RAV4 Adventure. In this video, we'll be installing side shooters. This is compatible with all trim levels of the Toyota RAV4, but if you have the hybrid, your installation will be different. These are the lights we will install. They claim to offer over 170 watts as a pair, which makes sense with all the LEDs on the front and on the side. This should offer great visibility in dark remote areas, but if you're doing it for Instagram likes, it doesn't matter as long as it looks good. Since this is a budget build, we are using these universal mounts. The lights are screwed on the top, and the hood is compressed between the braces at the bottom. They offer great flexibility in selecting where you want to install your lights. But if budget is not a problem, go with LP Adventure for custom brackets for this RAV4. Powering the lights is probably the most scary part of this build for most people, but this universal kit makes it easy since it has everything you need. This is usable for many different vehicle applications. This is also a 12 gauge wire so it is very doable for high watt systems even though our lights are on the low side. This wire kit is equipped with a positive and negative wire connected by spade connectors. This is one lead for one light. This is the other lead for the other light. Both of these leads will go to one light on each side of the hood. As we continue down the wire, we have our inline fuse the relay, and the terminals that connect to our batteries. This is the switch that will be sent to the cabin to power on and off from inside. The first thing we do is connect the side shooters to the wire harness by using the spade connectors that were included in the kit. We simply crimp the wires to the spade connectors, but off camera I actually soldered these for a stronger hold. We temporarily connect our lights to the wire kit to confirm that things work. I also change the fuse to match just around the wattage of my lights that will pull. You can find the math all over the internet because I'm not savvy with electricity. In the engine bay, I first secure the relay to a screw that holds the fuse box in place. This is located on the driver's side top right corner. I connect the positive and negative terminals of the wire kit directly to the battery. If the cable was longer, I would connect the negative battery to the frame. Also make sure your switch is in the off position before you get started playing with this battery. Here you can see the light and the wire harness do work. So far so good. Now we install the universal mounts that attach the hood to our lights. Depending on the mount and light you buy, you might need to make some adjustments to secure the light. The hood of the RAV4 fits snug between the braces and is held in place by the compression of the screws. We'll first install it on the hood and then we can play with its location later. This is one of the benefits of these universal mounts. You can move it anywhere. Now we need to find and understand the firewall grommet. This is the hole in the wall that separates the engine from the cabin where the wires pass through. In the gas model, it is on the passenger half of the vehicle. From inside the cabin, this can be accessed from behind the glove box and from under. It is to the right side of the air cabin filter. This is where we pass the remote wire switch into the cabin. For demonstration purposes only, I push a solid copper wire through the firewall from inside the cabin, so you can see. When you actually send the remote wire from the outside, you'll want some assistance. Have one person inside the cabin to create an opening along the grommet, while the person outside of the cabin should push the wire through. Make sure you unplug the switch so that you are only passing the wires. 
To summarize our work so far, we connected the wire kit to the negative and positive terminals of our battery and secured the relay to the screw that is on top of the fuse box. One of the leads go to the first side shooter. Then I have wires going under the hood to the other side shooter. The remote wire goes along the back and into the firewall and then this remote switch is what will connect on the inside. After all the work I found out the wire is unfortunately short so I had to make an extension. I didn't record a video but I have a three wire cable that I attached spade connectors to and then connected it to my switch. Overall feedback, the lights are great, we had some rain and it didn't take on water. Time will tell but for this budget build it'll do. The wire harness is also very good and well built but the remote wire is certainly shorter than desired. This wire kit would work really well if the battery and the firewall grommet are on the same side. There is probably a wire extension readily available that is compatible with this switch but I will probably look for another system or make my own. If you have a hybrid, your battery is in the back. I recommend connecting a low gauge positive wire to the battery with an inline fuse and send it to the engine by going under the door panels and through the firewall. After you have the positive wire in the engine, mount it on a bus bar so you can connect multiple interfaces without running any more wire. Make sure you fuse or get a circuit breaker. For step-by-step -step instructions and pictures, visit rav4gen5.com.